inspiring, renewing, a little taste of heaven here on earth. This is how many have described Trinity Pines Camp and Conference Center. And it is all this and more. It's something unique and different to each person who comes here. To anyone who's experienced a summer camp, a retreat, a conference, or a family reunion here, they'll tell you it's the perfect place to get away, to renew and refresh, to restore, to grow closer to God. Most churches don't have the resources to build a facility like this. And here we have incredibly built this miracle here on the edge of Cascade. And I just think at seven years, we are at an incredible place to move this conference center, move this camping program into the, into the premier place God has set it out to be. Camp is an experience that is like none other where um, you know you're away from home you're in um, nature we've got such a beautiful campground it's just um, an amazing place to be and uh, the girls lives are changed the counselors lives are changed and my life is changed every year and it's just an honor and a blessing to be a part of um, something like this if you've been to trinity pines recently to attend a camp or a retreat you've seen a fully modern facility capable of comfortably hosting hundreds of children, youth, or adults. But it hasn't always been this way. Only through the hard work and dedication of the Intermountain District and hundreds of volunteer workers have this 198 acres in Cascade, Idaho, been transformed from open fields and wooded land into an incomparable camping facility. It's really um, neat to know that we have our own property up there. The, the Church of the Nazarene owns this property, all these acres, and so it's really nice to know that so many people uh, have put to, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this place and, and have worked really hard to put up the cabins and do cleanup in the spring and, and know that this is uh, a camp that's the Nazarene Church's camp. Yeah, the first year it really was just dirt, like it was this lodge and then dirt, and but it's transformed into something so huge. The grass and the ropes course and the archery and the quads and the cottages, like it's grown so much and it's still growing and it's a great place. It's amazing. Trinity Pines is the realization of a dream that many in the Intermountain District have shared. The dream that we would have our own campground, a facility that would stimulate and grow relationships with others and with Christ. A campground that would inspire renewal, a place many would forever remember as where they came to God and made a life-changing decision to follow Him. It's always exciting to see what happens when God moves at a, at a camp, whether it's a children's camp or, or a youth camp or even a retreat. In, in that setting, it seems that, that uh, God is able to move more freely in people's lives and to watch um, as he moves across a, a group of, of boys or, or a group of teenagers and to see them respond so easily and so quickly. And I, I don't know that there's any other setting where it happens so visibly and so quickly than in a place like a, like a camp. Trinity Pines is an incredible place to go away and, and feel the heartbeat of God, um, to tuck away on a hiking trail, or to feel the adventure on the zip line. We have been so honored and so privileged to watch how this retreat and conference center have impacted and touched the lives of so many for rest and renewal and, and seeking the Lord. We are so grateful for Trinity Pines. Our camp in particular has grown every year as far as numbers, and I think it's the changes and the improvements to the campground, it's just such a pleasure to be there and um, I know the girls just have a great time. They get to experience things that they don't anywhere else. You know, for the first time, maybe archery or tubing the river, um, swimming at the lake. But it, it's, it's a great place to be, and um, it's, it's been exciting to see every year we get up there something new. The dream of Trinity Pines could not happen without the commitment, the investment of people like you. Ask anyone who has attended a camp or a retreat here, and you will see them immediately go back to an experience they may otherwise not have had. Emotional rejuvenation and invigoration. 
a relationship restored, commitments made, life in Christ begun. So I just continue to see plenty of blessings bestowed on every person that drives, walks, enters this 200 acres of holy ground. And I really believe strongly that it's because of the sacrifice and the resources people have been able to give to build this place. It's wonderful to think that there'll be a legacy. Um, Mitzi's gone to camp and loved it, and I've spent time up there. And, uh, just great to think that maybe someday she'll have children that'll be up there and walk the same paths that I've walked. And so it's wonderful to think that there's a legacy that's beginning now in my generation. It's really cool to know that um, this is just the first, this is just the beginning. It's gonna grow so much, knowing it's gonna last forever and that, that we were the, the kind of the first people to venture out on this um, Trinity Pines adventure. And it's gonna be really cool to look back in 30, 40 years and see how much it's grown and how much people's lives have been affected through it. I, I think if a person has any desire at all to make an investment for eternity, then, then this is where you're going to see a significant bang for your buck, maybe even the, the greatest bang for your buck. Outside of a, of a local church community, you're going to see your dollar uh, have a direct turnaround into the, to the eternity of, of people's lives. You may be contributing to, to build a building, but that building is going to be used to impact people's lives that are going to change our local churches, change our district, and, and change our world. So it really is a, a direct investment in eternity. You only need look in the eyes of a camper to know that your investment in Trinity Pines is making an eternal difference. Please consider a gift that will have life-changing significance. You have an opportunity to make a commitment to say, I want I want people to be changed eternally, to find Jesus. And I just pray that you would consider that. I pray that um, as the Lord draws near to you and in, and in quiet times you would listen to Him to know which ways He has you investing in Trinity Pines Retreat and Conference Center. It's not just a place for camp, it's a place to connect to the very heartbeat of God. So please prayerfully consider what the Lord will have you do in this venture. Make an investment in eternity. Share the dream.